adventure. Sunny day and the island of Sodo was bustling with activity. The engines were carrying passengers and goods up and down every line on the Fat Controller's railway. Except Thomas's branch line, which was closed for repairs to a damaged bridge. Instead of working on his branch line, Thomas had been sent to the Sodo China clay pits to work with Bill and Ben. Hello? Is anybody here? Bill! <laughs> ben! Hey, wait for me! Time, Thomas. Your trucks are over there. Don't be silly, Ben. Thomas isn't strong enough to pull those trucks. Of course I am. <laughs> oh, hey, stop! Hey, what's got into you, trucks? Oh. <laughs> the trucks aren't pulling you, Timothy. It's Thomas that's pulling you. Timothy? Thomas? <laughs> Timothy was the little oil-burning engine that worked at the clay pits, too. Bill and Ben had played a trick on both him and Thomas. Oh, don't mind them, Thomas. Bill and Ben are always playing tricks on other engines. I know all about Bill and Ben and their tricks, Timothy. You have to admit, though, that was a funny one. Trucks can be troublesome, but they don't usually have that much pull. <laughs> <laughs> You'd best be careful, Thomas. If a storm comes, the heavy rain can make the clay walls unstable. Thanks, Timothy. I'll be careful. I do need to be careful. Whoa! Huh? Footprints? What could have made footprints as big as... <gasps> Look out! <laughs> The Brave. The morning after the big storm on the island of Sodor, the Fat Controller gathered some of his engines together to make an oh. announcement. <clears throat> we are here to pay tribute to the bravery of Bill and Ben. Hello, everyone. Glad you could make it. While they may be better known for playing tricks on their fellow engines... You can say that again. ...that by rescuing Thomas from the landslide at the China Clay Pits, 
They have proved once again that they are really useful and brave engines. Really silly engines, more like. Brave? Ha, I'm braver than they'll ever be. Ah, oh, Thomas, I'd like you to work at the docks this morning. Uh, Thomas? Oh, yes, sir. Work at the docks. Mm -hmm. What's wrong, Thomas? You seem a bit quiet. Sorry, Percy. I... well... I saw something strange up at the clay pits yesterday. Really? What did you see? I'm not sure. I think I saw footprints. But I need to take another look. Footprints? Before starting work at the docks, Thomas went back to the clay pits again. He wanted to go back to where he had seen what he thought were big footprints. But the area was closed off and there were danger signs. Ah! What's that? Only me! <laughs> Oh, I didn't mean to give you a fright. Sorry. Oh, dear, this is embarrassing. Haven't you ever seen a steam shovel before? Yes. I... I just didn't hear you coming. And, well, I was thinking about something else. Me too! I was thinking about digging. I love digging. I love thinking about digging. Not as much as I love digging, of course. Uh... Digging is what I'm all about, really, but... Oh! Oh, dear, this is embarrassing. I forgot to ask you your name. You uh... should always introduce yourself. It's only polite. That's what I've always been told, anyway. I... Shall I go first? Let me introduce myself. I'm Marion, and you are... Thomas, do you always talk this much? Not particularly. No, I wouldn't say that. I'm more of a digger, to be honest. Or should I say steam shovel? That is my proper title, you know, seeing as I have a shovel and I'm powered by steam. I'm here to clear the tracks, actually. <laughs> always a lot of digging to do after a landslide. That's right. Oh, a lot of digging! Ah, ah, ah! Don't you go past the danger sign, Thomas. That would be dangerous. Unless, of course, you want me to dig you out. <laughs> Ooh! What's that rocky bit? The rocky bits are always the hardest. See, you've met Marion, then. I certainly have. Steam shovels are made for digging, and I am particularly good at it. By the way, oh, good, Marion. Well done. Timothy, have you seen any big animals in the clay pits? Big animals? Like what? A cow or a deer? No, bigger than that, much bigger. There aren't animals bigger than that on South or Thomas. Oh, except giraffes and elephants in the animal park. <laughs> and chickens. Huh? Chickens? Oh, sorry, did I say chickens? I meant dinosaurs. Dinosaurs were very big animals, but dinosaurs aren't around anymore. No, they lived a very long time ago. A very, very, very long time ago. Oh dear, there I go talking out of my shovel. Why are you asking about big animals, Thomas? Oh, I was just wondering. That's all. Digging like I dig, digging. I do, I do, I do. It was a busy morning at Brendan Docks. Ships were being loaded and unloaded, and cargo was waiting to be taken away. And where have you been all morning? I thought you were basically putting good friends to day. I am. I just had another job to do first. That's all. Hmm. Thomas! Did you go back to the clay pits? Did you find out what made those footprints? I tried, Percy, but the area was closed off after the landslide. Maybe you should stick to your railway jobs, Thomas, instead of going around chasing footprints and causing landslides. Why are you so worried about some footprints anyway? Because I don't know what could have made them, Percy. They were footprints. They were very, 
big footprints, bigger than any animal on Sodor. <gasps> you mean they were footprints from a monster? A monster? Honestly, the things you engines come up with. Don't be silly, Percy. There's no such thing as monsters. Okay, Thomas. I hope you're right. <coughs> so do I. As an eerie fog rolled across Sodor, Percy couldn't stop thinking about what Thomas had said. There's no such thing as monsters. <laughs> Monster Percy, that be an engine. Ahoy there, matey. <laughs> I think they all thought you were a sea monster. I didn't think you were a monster. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> a monster? Oh, I don't usually get mistaken for a monster. Mind you, they do call me Gator. It seems they think my long sloping water tank makes me look like an alligator. Gator? Oh, that's a great name. <laughs> well, my real name is Gerald, but I quite like being called Gator. And I like being called Thomas. Or should we call you Sandy now? <laughs> and the little green tank engine is my friend Percy. Hello. Hello, Percy. I'm sorry if I gave you a fright. I was in a hurry to catch a ship. <whistles> then the dock manager arrived. He was not very happy to see his docks in such a mess. What is going on here? Those trucks should be in Vickerstown by now, Percy. Sorry, sir. I was just leaving. <whistles> Goodbye, Gator. Goodbye, Percy. Percy felt very silly for thinking the new engine was a monster, but he was still a little worried. And that night, as he set out to take the mail train, he seemed to see monsters everywhere. What's that just around the corner? Something in the rocks and trees. Slowly, slowly getting closer. Monsters everywhere, hiding in the trees. Just behind the rocks, blowing in the breeze. Monsters everywhere, doing as they please. They try to scare you. Is your boiler getting colder as you slowly buff around? Must be brave, you must be bolder. It's no more than silly sounds. Monsters everywhere, hiding in the trees. Just behind the rugs, blowing in the breeze. Monsters everywhere, doing as they please. They try to scare you. Oh, that's not so scary. The next morning, Thomas woke up early and headed straight to the clay pits. His branch lines were still under construction. Dig up, I like to dig down. I like to dig up treasure that's never been found. Do you dig digging like I dig? Hello, Timothy. Hello, Thomas. Find anything unusual in there? Like what? 
No, I don't know. Footprints from a monster or something? Tricks, you nearly made me blow a safety valve. We were only saying hello. Poor thing. You'd think he'd seen a steam shovel. <laughs> <laughs> Nervous Percy had gone to Brendan Docks to the trucks. Percy was very sleepy after staying awake all night, keeping a lookout for monsters. a nervous engine? You're acting like there's something chasing you down the tracks. Sorry, it's just Thomas said. Percy did feel a little silly. <sighs> Never mind. Back at the clay pits, Thomas was shunting trucks for Marion and trying to see if he could spot any footprints. Okay, Thomas, that's a lot, but hurry back, okay? I'll stay here and dig until I fill up some more trucks. There's plenty of digging still to do. Plenty of digging. Maybe I didn't see anything that night. <laughs> Maybe the lightning was playing tricks on me. What are you doing? I need to fill my water tank too. Hmm, playing tricks on me. And then an idea flew into Thomas's funnel. Be patient, Bill. You'll get your turn. I've been patient for ages. Hey, Bill. Hey, Ben. Can I ask you a question? You just did, Thomas. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, yes. I was just wondering. The other day before you rescued me from the landslide, were you playing a trick on me? A trick? That landslide was not a trick. Oh, I don't mean the landslide. I saw something else. And... We risked our boilers for you, Thomas. That's right. We could have been caught in that landslide, too. Yeah! What he said. Thomas hadn't meant to upset Bill and Ben. He just wanted to find out where the big footprints had come from and whether they were footprints at all. dark when Thomas finally returned to Tidmouth Sheds. He was very surprised to find Percy still in his berth. Percy, aren't you supposed to be taking the mail train? You should have left by now. I know, Thomas, but last night I kept seeing things that looked like monsters. Monsters? <laughs> A monster? They weren't really monsters. They were only silly things like a haystack or a shirt on the line. But there could still be a monster out there. Please, Thomas, would you take the mail train for me? Just tonight? Um, all right, Percy. I suppose I could. Thank you, Thomas. Thank you. You're a good friend. Ha! <laughs> oh, Percy, you're such a scaredy engine. Percy couldn't sleep. He kept thinking about Thomas and wondering if he was okay. But Thomas finally finished the mail run and came back, safe and sound. No monsters. No monsters. But what about the footprints? It was dark and stormy that night in the clay pits. I don't even know for sure that I saw any footprints. You should try to get some sleep, Percy. 
There's nothing to worry about. At last, Thomas's branch line was opened again. Wake up, Claribel. We're back in business. Oh, is that Thomas? Oh, how delightful. Here we go. <laughs> it's not fair. You get to pull coaches and I get sent for scrap. Sent for scrap? Oh, James, that's terrible. You still look really useful to me. No, no. I mean sent to the scrapyard to collect trucks filled with scrap. Oh, I see. Oh, silly ass. Yes, silly ass. <laughs> Cheer up, James. Pulling trucks isn't so bad. You can't always do the jobs you like best. James was not a happy engine as he puffed to the scrapyard. Hello, scaredy engine. Seen any monsters lately? Uh... You can tease if you want to, James, but there really might be a monster on Sodor, you know. Ha! Puff and nonsense! There's no such thing as monsters. Well, Thomas saw giant footprints up at the clay pits, and nobody knows what made them. Giant footprints? Yeah. I want... Oh! 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 Came in fast. Scrap give you a bit of a fright, did it? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm not scared of pieces of metal and rusty old machines. Is that right? Well, on you, the big engine. Wrench is the name. I'm the scrapyard crane. Well, I'm James, and I usually pull coaches. <laughs> Well, there's a surprise. Meanwhile, Percy had arrived at the docks. But he didn't expect to find Gator still there. Gator! Hello! Are you working on Sodor now? No, Percy. I missed my ship. I'm just helping the dock manager while I wait for another one. He needs me to collect some cars from Duck's branch line tonight. Tonight? But aren't you afraid of monsters? Monsters? What monsters? <laughs> monsters would probably be afraid of me. Wow. You're brave, Gator. I wish I was as brave as you are. You might be braver than you think, Percy. I wasn't always as brave as I am now. I'm designed to work in the high mountains, Percy. That's why my water tanks are this special shape. But just because you're designed for something doesn't mean you can't be afraid of it. And it was a shock for me to find out that I was afraid of heights. One day, I was faced with having to cross a high bridge, higher than any bridge I'd ever seen before. But I was pulling trucks loaded with important supplies. The villagers needed my help. I decided I must be brave. It took everything in me to cross that bridge. But I did it, even though I was scared. So you see, being brave isn't the same as not feeling scared. Being brave is about what you do, even when you do feel scared. Percy, where are you going? There's something I have to do. Hello, Thomas. Guess what? Um, let me see. Have you been asked to deliver a giant balloon on a flatbed? No, I've decided to be brave and take the mail train tonight. Oh, so you're not feeling scared about monsters anymore? 
Be brave is not the same as not feeling scared, Thomas. Being brave is about what you do even when you do feel scared. Gator told me that. Good luck, Percy. Thank you, Thomas. Be careful out there. Monsters are hard to see in the dark. <laughs> Don't you worry about me. Why are you teasing Percy like that, James? I'm teasing Percy because he's a scaredy engine, Emily. Oh, there you are, James. Don't settle down. I need you to pull the flying kipper tonight and deliver fresh fish for the morning. But that's Henry's job. Henry has taken a heavy goods train to the mainland. He won't be back before tomorrow. Well, why can't Emily do it? Or Thomas, I don't like pulling trucks. I'm asking you, James. You can't always do the jobs you like, you know. Be careful.